here we go again. All right, got some cars coming with their lights on, some without. A little bit of a mix there. Got some large trucks coming. It's pretty full here. I'm definitely not seeing quite as many cars visualized here as I am in front, but maybe that's just because of the depth it's showing. I don't know if my bird's eye view will help here or not. Probably not. All right, there's a large truck. Not quite any gaps behind that guy. He needs to wait. All right, there's three more cars and it can probably proceed if it goes well. Okay. There was a gap, but it, uh, I'm not sure what to think about that one. I, it wasn't, I mean, a human driver might have been able to creep into that first lane and accelerate behind that middle lane, but it wasn't using that that time. It had the commit speed on it and it, it was going straight for that middle lane. Okay. I can't wait to see what this looks like from the drone. I learned quite a bit last time from watching the drone footage on the distances of the cars and where I thought there was a danger zone, but um, that acceleration was not what I would have done as a driver on that last one. So let's try it again. All right, here we go again. Definitely got a initial pause scenario here. In a nice waiting position. So far, the, the waiting positions have been bad. Okay, there's a nice gap coming. It's kind of got to look around a tree. It needs to wait on this one car. And right now, it should be rolling. Hey, that was really good. Awesome. But so far, this is an improvement. Um, let's get some more data. Okay, here's round two. Let's see what happens here. We've got some oncoming traffic. I don't see any immediate gaps. Boy, that's close. I, I wouldn't have gone that close. Um, it's uncomfortable. It's not clear. It's not clear. Okay, there's the gap it could have gone for. So I had to disengage that one. It, it was ooching forward. It, it might have wanted to go out into the road, but you don't go into the first lane waiting to cross the second and the third lane there. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to call that one a successful one. Let's see what happens round three. All right. Looks like there's a pretty good uh, line of traffic here. It's definitely going to need to wait initially. I'm liking where it's waiting, and it's giving it's the steering wheel staying straight. Okay, don't go for that gap. It needs to wait here. I think it realized it. Now there's a small gap here if it starts rolling. And it rolled it. That gave me the confidence it was going to go for it. Um, that rolling is a little bit of a precursor of the behavior, which tells me what it's thinking. Um, I like that behavior. I'm really impressed with how this is going today. I mean, even if if on the last few we get here, it doesn't make them. Um, this is definitely improved behavior. Okay. Here we go again. I'm going to go ahead and re-engage now. We've got some forward-facing traffic approaching. And slowing into the turn lane is another important thing to watch here. You know, I'm down to 23 and I'm still in the highway lane there. Um, so I, it, in my opinion, it needs to get in this turn lane a little bit earlier before it starts the deceleration uh, like that. But I'm in a good spot here. Um, my wheel is turned. You can see uh, quite a bit which it shouldn't be. I know a lot of folks have an opinion on these wheels being turned, so it's still having the wheel turned. But right now, at least, it, okay, it's starting to creep forward. I can see a large gap coming, but it'll have to use the accelerator if it goes for this one. It's gonna have to stop. Okay, all right. I had to intervene there. Um, it was going for it before that red car passed. It could have made it before that red car if it had started sooner and used the accelerator a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and report that one with the camera shot just to give a few of these um, video reports. I also am gonna send this to Tesla after the fact. Um, we'll, get a, we'll get a handful of these and see how it does on average. All right, here we go again. It's got the blinker on. Getting in the left lane. 
Looks like it found itself, well, a no, little bit of a pause there because of that car. And there's a nice gap after it. This car is turning left over here, okay? It can go right now with a nice boost. That was good. If I hadn't chickened out on that, uh, that first one, we might be 100 out of 100 right now. Um, let's see how they go. Okay, hey, definitely another weight scenario here. A little bit more obvious in my mind. There's traffic everywhere. Okay, it waited in a good spot. It didn't go all the way to the line like it did the previous times. I do have another car uh, over, over in the uh, intersection. This is, don't go, don't go. Okay. That was a small, too small of a gap to go for. Uh, there was a larger gap, so I see what it saw, but with the speed of these cars at 55 miles an hour here, it was too small um, for me to let it do it. Maybe one day, not yet. All right, try another one. Looks like we've got a little bit more of a wait here. I don't see a gap yet. Hopefully it waits. It's definitely not turning the steering wheel as much as it used to. It's turned a little bit. I think this is a little bit of a tweak. Oh, my hand was barely on the nice gap and I re-engaged and it saw it and it went for it, 100 out of 100. I, that disengagement there, boy, that was not much friction. Um, I, I didn't even think I was, uh, pulling on it, but that must have just been the tension.